Nick, Robert, thank you so much for joining us today. We're excited thank to have you here for ProLifeCon. Thank you for having us. Absolutely. So first off, I would love for y'all to talk a little bit about the new Roe vs. Wade movie and your respective roles in it. Well, I'll lead off with Nick because he's the director. Yeah, yeah I'm sure. So, um, you know, Roe v. Wade is this, this story of how uh, the media um, manipulated the courts into the 1973 decision to legalize abortion. Uh, the protagonist is played by um, a character, his name is um, Bernard Nathanson, who was the biggest abortionist in American history. And and that's the character I play. And, and I sort of tell the story of how I go from being an abortionist uh, and helping manipulate the courts into converting to pro-life uh, and eventually being baptized to Catholicism. Amazing. What about you, Robert? Well, I, strangely enough, I play a man named Justice William Brennan, who was the most liberal justice and a man who Antonin Scalia called the most influential uh, justice of the 20th century. He was put in there by Eisenhower. He was an Irish Catholic. And he came up with the argument that of the woman's right to privacy that led to Roe versus Wade. He was a man that believed that the Constitution was a living document and should be adjusted according to the times, something that I don't see quite eye to eye on, uh, nor his argument. But that's who I get to play. And uh, it's a quite a departure and very interesting. That's why, Rob, that's why Bobby's such a good actor. He's able to convince you as opposed to his own personal beliefs. And he did an incredible, incredible job. Wow. Thanks. Definitely sounds like it's going to be a really interesting movie. And I'm sure that a topic like Roe versus Wade is bound to garner some strong reactions one way or another. So well, I'm curious to know uh, what kind of challenges and backlash has the movie run into so far, even as it has yet to be released? Well, I'll leave that to Nick, but I just want to say quickly that the courage that he had to put this film together, hmm. because everyone knows about Roe versus Wade, and, 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 but they don't know how the sausage was made. And this film lets you see how the sausage was made so to speak, and uh, uh, the in peak of the justices and the whole process. So Nick, I'm so, sorry to take that. I just want to- uh, Yeah, I mean, you know, I, I mean, of course there were a lot of challenges. Um, uh, I mean, I think there's challenges in making any movie, but I mean, particularly with, with, a, with a topic so controversial, um, you know, we had challenges, but we also had benefits on both sides. I mean, I think one of the biggest challenges, uh, raising money, trying to do online fundraising, getting shut down by uh, Facebook and blocked, um, you know, uh, which, you know, as you can see, this is continually happening today. I think some of those right. kind of things were, were some of the biggest challenges um, that we had making making the film, um, you know, securing locations um, and, and things like that. But on the flip side of it, you know, we had a lot of support. A lot of people came out to support us and offered us free goods, services, locations, uh, actors begging to play, you know, certain roles. Um, uh, you know, and I, I think kind of like every movie, there's some positives and negatives. Um, but uh, obviously this is a controversial film and uh, hopefully people can t you know, walk away with it and learn something new when they see it. Absolutely. Um, so with both of you being veterans in the Hollywood movie industry, I understand this is not your first rodeo with the movie making or, or acting. I would love to know uh, what makes this movie stand apart? What makes the Roe versus Wade movie different than other movies you've been a part of? Well, first off, the uh, subject matter. You're talking about perhaps the most controversial issue in the history of the American justice system. Right. And controversial in America. So that in itself is, uh, is warranting enough uh, for it to, the, 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 you know, it's, it's not your Marvel comic book. Right, right. And I think on top of that, let me add, I think, <clears throat> you, know, you know, I think what I find really interesting about Roe is that no other movie that I remember or know has ever taken a look into inside the Supreme Court. And, and you know, the nomination process have been so visceral mm -hmm. over the last couple decades. You know, I, I, we take a sneak peek into um, the process of how they debate, how they argue, how they confer with each other, um, the politics behind all of that, which, which I don't think any movie has sort of taken an inside view into that, regardless of, the, of what case it is. I think that really sets it apart, something I've never seen a film 
do ever. Sure. So with that, what would you like viewers to take away from your movie when they see it? Is there something that particularly motivates you to stand up for the unborn and you hope that viewers will walk away um, thinking about, or uh, what's the good takeaway? Well, you know, when Roe versus Wade happened along, there was no science. Mm -hmm. And it was the manufactured, because it was a case that uh, another Supreme Court justice had come up with. Texas, I think, uh, Griswold, and I forget versus who it was, where the right to privacy and the extension of that to Roe versus Wade that Brennan uh, in, kind of infused in the conversation uh, with the other justices to sway them into Roe versus Wade. I think that that, uh, that to me is, a, a, like you know, Nick said, we don't know what the Supreme Court does in those robes, behind the robes. So this is kind of behind the robes. Hmm. And um, where, uh, without the science of today, you know what I mean, that stood back sure. then. And, you know, and, and from my perspective, is much simpler. I mean, you know, Robert played a, a justice, and so for him, I think that was a lot of the focus of, of learning, you know, the, the legal aspects of what happened and what could happen. But from my perspective, really the takeaway in this film is that hopefully people will learn that life begins at conception. Absolutely. That's so good. Okay, I have a final question really quick. Where I mean, can our viewers expect this movie to come out? And uh, when is it coming out? Sure, so it's gonna come out April 2nd on iTunes and Amazon and pay-per-view. Okay. <laughs> you know, in the meantime, there are a lot of organizations, uh, Right to Life groups, uh, Knights of Columbus groups, um, Catholic organizations and churches doing and hosting private screenings, uh, some in churches and theaters, some virtual. And, you know, and, and if they want to just reach out to us, um, you know, and go to our, our website or just contact you or me, uh, we can help set them up to do virtual and private screenings before the film is released in the okay. next two months. That's so exciting. April 2nd. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing the film when it's released. And thank you both for your time. Thank, thank you, you so much.